What are the options? Uh, should they get them removed, replaced, Dr. Calva? Well, that's exactly a, a great point, Olivia. What happens is they go to the plastic surgeon, and the plastic surgeon says the only way they know how to treat this is let's remove that implant, let's remove that capsule that's diseased, and let's put another implant, sometimes a bigger implant, into oh. a different plane. And then because they already have a tendency to form scars and contract, mm -hmm. they're going to get it again. A higher likelihood. Not everybody, but a higher likelihood. So then what do they say? What's the other option? Why don't we wrap that implant with a foreign, another foreign body called alloderm or uh, skin from a pig that's been decellularized uh, or from human. And then again, they're putting in another foreign body into your body that's a very inflammatory uh, to your body. And they, they propagate two, three, four surgeries later and they finally find us at the Miami Breast Center and then and then we do something amazing that we're going to talk about. And I know you guys couldn't, uh, our viewers, see uh, Dr. Corey as Dr. Calva was talking about, you know, the one and two and three times. But Dr. Corey, you were going like this. Well, like all he was doing was going, why are you doing that? Well, that's that's all what we're taught to do as residents in plastic surgery. So most plastic surgeons, that's the only tool they have in their toolbox. Mm. But we developed uh, these, this uh, fat replacement technique and we've refined it and we've been doing this for over 15 years now and I could show you some example of what happens if we can show the slides. Oh, do you want to do that? Let's yeah, show them real quick. Yeah, yeah. Here's, see, implants act like expanded, stretch the tissue. So if you take the, the volume of a dome of tissue around an implant, you take the implant out, you have a disc. The difference in volume between the dome and the disc for a 300 cc implant is about 300 cc. So we create laxity, the stretch the tissue. And here's an example. Here's a young lady with capsular contraction. See how this implant looks fake? This is that, that those implants have tightened around her body here. And we uh, remove the implant. You can see she's quite flat. She was very flat before the implant. Correct. And then by putting fat into it, we really restored back some volume. So if you look at the before and after, Here's with implant, pretty deforming gross breast. Here's without the implant, natural looking. They're not much smaller, they're still much more natural.